Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic in hand is Section 28, Section 29 and Section 30 of the Factories Act 1934. Dear students, Section 28 ki jo heading hai, wo hai Employment of Young Persons on Dangerous Machines. Kya young log jo hai, unko dangerous machines operate karne ke liye employ karna chahiye ya nahi karna chahiye kya kisi child ko employ karna chahiye is kaam ke liye dangerous machine ko operate karne ke liye kisi adolescent ko kya is kaam ke liye engage karna chahiye aaiye dekhte hain ki law kya kehta hai law ki civilization kya hai aur statutory civilization kya hai section 28 sub section 1 no child or adolescent shall work at any machine unless he has been fully instructed as to the dangers arising in connection with the machine and the precautions to be observed and has received sufficient training in work at the machine or is under adequate supervision by a person who has thorough knowledge and experience of the machine. My dear students, this section shall apply to such machines as may be notified by the provincial government to be of such a dangerous character that children or adolescents ought not to work at them unless the foregoing requirements are complied with. Child ki definition kya hai? Adolescent ki kya definition hai? This I have earlier discussed with you. Please refer through those definitions. Section 29. Heading has striking gear and devices for cutting off power. Section 29, subsection 1. In every factory, suitable striking gear or other efficient mechanical appliances shall be provided and maintained and used to move driving belts to and from fast and loose pulleys with form part of the transmission machinery and such gear or appliances shall be so constructed, placed and maintained as to prevent the belt from creeping back on the fast pulleys. In every factory, driving belts when not in use shall not be allowed to rest or ride upon shafting in motion. Subsection 2 of Section 29 in every factory, suitable devices for cutting off power in emergencies from running machinery shall be provided and maintained in every work room. Subsection 3 In respect of factories in operation before the commencement of this ordinance, the provisions of subsection 2 shall apply only to work rooms in which electricity is used for power. Now let's move on to discuss section 30, that is self-acting machines. The heading is self-acting machines. No transversing part of a self-acting machine in any factory and no material carried thereon shall lift the space over which it runs is a space over which any person is liable to pass whether in the course of his employment or otherwise be allowed to run on its outward or inward transverse with a distance of 18 inches from any fixed structure which is not part of the machine, my dear students. Provided that. Ye proviso laga diya. Proviso mein aapko bataya tha ki ye condition, addition ya exception introduce karwa sakta hai jo pehle baad discuss ki hi hai, ki gai hai uske liye. Provided that the chief inspector may permit the continued use of a machine installed before the commencement of the Labor Laws Amendment Ordinance 1972, which does not comply with the requirements of this section on such condition for ensuring safety as he may think fit to impose. So, Pura Jo Factories Act 1934 hai, ye revolve around karta hai, safety of the workmen. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.